Hello and welcome to Friday. Unfortunately, I have become a Michael's Art Supplies store. Hey car, you're riding in front of me. It's a joke, I'm actually still a person. Uh, we had to come out to, uh, to take care of a few things. Um, we have been getting ready for, I guess, shipping out the, the first Mal piece. Mal painting. The first Mal makes painting. Um, so we had to get um, some stuff to wrap the canvas. There's like a special paper. Craft paper. Craft paper that you have to wrap the canvas in so it doesn't stick to... The saran wrap. The, no, so it doesn't stick to the varnish. Yeah. Because the, when the, when the painting, which is done with acrylics, is done, then it's varnished, which makes it a little glossy and then also protects it. Yes. And then to sh when you ship it, we're taking it to FedEx and they have a special thing they do, but they cover it in saran wrap, which is bad. So what you do is you wrap it in paper and then you give them that and then they ship that and then it's good. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, it's, it's weird because it's, it's a big learning process. Like, you know, when it all started, it was like, Mal can do the arts. I can do the videos. Yes, but there's actually a lot more to it than that because now it's like we have to learn the Ebays. We have to learn all about shipping and packaging and all this other stuff. So there's a lot to, to figure out. But Yeah, and I've never I've only varnished one painting before. And I wouldn't have known I had to do that if I didn't student teach with the people I student taught with. And then they They taught me. Yeah. But things are good. Um, we we went in there and we got the stuff. We also got some more canvases. Um, so Mel's got even more canvases to paint on. They were on sale. They were on sale. That's another thing is that um, actually there's uh, there's quite a bit of cost in each painting because the canvases are pretty pricey. Um, the equipment like the brushes and stuff are a, are a one time purchase, but they're they're pretty expensive. Mel had to this get paint a paintbrush was six dollars. Mel had to get a, a detail brush, but the paint is ridiculous. Paint is crazy, crazy expensive. Um, but Mal should be set for a while now. Yeah. Should be set for a while. So we're good on that front. Um, now we're going to uh, go over and I think get a bite to eat. And then we got to get a few things at Costco. And then I'm going home because tonight, Dan, Taylor, Josh, and I are recording some stuff for the Division Beta, which is fun. Someone's waiting on your spot. I think they're waiting on the person next to me because oh. they just got in the car. <laughs> I don't even have my lights on, so... Oh, they didn't even take that spot! There was just another spot. Why were they sitting there? There was an empty spot. That's odd. Anyway, let's go eat. Check this stuff out. We don't usually go to Red Lobster, but Mal was in the mood for soup. Soup from Red Lobster. Yeah, look at my soup. So she came to Red Lobster and did not order soup. And so we got salads and we both got tacos. I got tilapia and Mal got uh, lobster. lobster. And then we traded one. I I don't think I've ever had the fish tacos here. Oh man, my ears are sore from having that headset on for as long as I did. Um, it's much later now. Uh, we just wrapped up recording um, the division beta. Um, here is some footage. Doop a doop a doop a doop 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 doop. Uh, I played with uh, Josh, Dan, and Taylor. Um, it was actually interesting because this is the first time I've set it up from a setup hardware standpoint on my end this particular way. I'll, I'll briefly explain what I did. Um, this is the audio interface. This is the Scarlett 18i8. And I have my mic going in here. And then in my third slot, I actually have this connected to the speaker. And what's happening is that's capturing Skype audio. Which is a, kind of a weird way of doing it, but it actually works fine. So I, I captured uh, the Skype audio um, this way. Uh, then after that, I actually have in the back um, red and white hooked up to the screen, which I was using as the HDMI monitor, and that is capturing the game audio. Now that I don't use that game audio, I use the game audio that's coming from the direct HD capture from the Elgato, but it helps me sync it up because my commentary, the Skype call, and the game audio are all being recorded at the same time and they're perfectly in sync. So then I can match the game audio recorded on the audio interface to the game audio recorded from the Elgato and then it's perfect. And it's it just saves me a lot of headache. So I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's fine. But it's the first time I, I actually tried that. Normally when I record a Skype call, um, I do it with software 
Uh, but this time I was like, mm, this should be easier, so I decided to go this route. If it sucks and it's terrible, then uh, maybe I won't use it, but uh, see, everything went fine. As far as the game itself, I don't know. I think it has some good qualities, but like overall, I don't know. I, I don't really, I don't really care for it. There's a few, there's a few things that's wrong with it. The the fun parts are like, I think I think that the fun part is really just being with friends, and um, while that's good, I mean I had a lot of fun being with with my my buddies and playing a game. I think that's probably what I enjoyed the most, which is not literally the game itself. The cool parts of the game are that, like, there's a lot of equipment to find. Like, it's post-apocalyptic sort of New York. Like, there's this virus that's taking over. People are looting, and you also can loot. So, like, you can go through apartment buildings, and, like, you'll find, you know, uh, armor. Well, it's not armor. It's, like, clothing and it has various stats, so you'll find like a beanie that gives you extra defense, so like you put your beanie on and it actually affects your, your character model. And you'll find gun mods, like I found a scope in a box, and I was like, okay, so I had a gun, I put the scope on it, and then I had a scope on my gun. Like that part is really neat. Um, the problem is it's really technical, and it's, it's kind of hard to explain why, but um, there's so many options that it kind of feels in a way overwhelming. There's a lot of different stuff you can play with, which might be a pro for some and a con for others. For me, I was kind of on the fence, but leaning closer to a con just because it was a little confusing. It was almost like there was too much to do. The other problem I had is that it feels like people are bullet sponges, and I know that's just kind of the way they went with the game, but it's really weird because in the past when I play a Tom Clancy game, I feel like if I shoot someone in the head, they're gonna die. And in this game, it's like you have a machine gun. You stand next to someone and you just unload into their head and it takes forever. I understand it was the type of game that they were going for, but it feels more frustrating to me because um, I don't know, you're hiding behind a box, you see someone off in the distance and you start shooting them in the head and like on their health bar it like barely moves. Uh, I mean, but overall, was it fun? Yeah, it, it was fun, but I think a lot of that fun came from having my friends with me. Um, I would not recommend the game if, if you're not playing with people, though. I, I couldn't do that. I feel like this is definitely a social game. Um, being on Skype with your buddies or on Xbox, talking to people or whatever, um, if you were going to play it by yourself, I think it would be... I don't think it would be fun. <laughs> I, I think a lot of the, the fun is, is being with other people and exploring. Um, not to mention the... I'm sure the game... The game's difficulty would be a lot higher if you were one person. I don't know if it procedurally generates people based on the number of players, but um, you can have four people in a party, and that's how many we had, and uh, the game seemed... The game seemed balanced. Um, it was just the whole... The idea of having to shoot someone a million times that I wasn't real happy with, but... Anyway, that was the beta, and honestly, the beta ends on Sunday, so it's uh, that'll be the last time we have to, to play it. But I captured some of it, and I have permission to release that, so I'll try and get that out soon, if I can. Um, anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. It's late. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Mal, Mal actually went to bed quite a while ago. And uh, we're going to get up early. Mal's going to try and finish her painting um, as soon as she can. Uh, she can work on it tomorrow. And then also tomorrow we launch the next episode of Malmakes. It's already uploaded and, and everything is set to go. Um, we just have to take care of a few more things before that happens. Yeah. I keep burping and I don't know why. Thanks for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we? You are just completely zoned down, aren't you, buddy? You're really out of it.